Hi, and welcome back to another episode of The Victorian Detective, Part 5. Alright, let's review what we did last week. The man raises his arms as if he was a conductor, <laughs> a conductor, silencing an orchestra. Shush! He hisses. What do you want to know? Mardler interjects. Have you had a customer that bought Tuk Lao and red Argyle rolling papers? You feel the need to interject. Of course he knew the victim. In fact, his mistress was having an affair with the victim. He has the victim's hat. The victim was his best friend. I'm going to say he has the victim's hat. Oh, yes. You're wearing the victim's hat right now. Remember, the victim was a chemist. The victim was a chemist. You're wearing the victim's hat right now, you say. You reach out and grab the nervous man's hat and spin it around. Remember, the hat is a weathered top hat. The hat is a weathered top hat. It's been used for a while. It's been used for a long time. Observe the Tuk Lao stain on the rim. So this is the rim. This is the rim, and I guess there's a Tuk Lao stain on the rim. So remember, uh, tobacco stains. So these are tobacco stains on teeth. These are tobacco stains on fingers. So there's a Tuk Lao. Tuk Lao is a type of tobacco. Tuk Lao is a type of tobacco that people smoke. So there's a Tuk Lao stain on the rim of the hat. Observe, see, observe the Tuk Lao stain on the rim and scratches, scratches on the rim from glasses. The victim wore glasses and smoked to glow. So glasses, glasses like this. So the victim wore glasses and smoked to glow. There are small black hairs in the hat. So this is black hair. So there are small black hairs in the hat. And we know the victim recently cut his hair. The hat even smells like peaches. The hat even smells like peaches, just like the victim's hair gel. So this is hair gel. You can use it to make your hair stand up or go to the side or whatever you need. So how'd you get the victim's hat, barks Mardler. How'd you get the victim's hat? He barks at him. Barks Mardler, you have some explaining to do. You need to tell us what's going on. He was short on money the other day, so he traded it for tobacco, cries the store owner. I swear... He was short on money. So he was trying to buy some Tuk Lao, but he was short on money. So that means if the Tuk Lao cost 20 euros, if the Tuk Lao cost 20 euros, he only had 15 euros. So he was short on money. So he gave the shop owner 15 euros and his hat for the Tuk Lao. He was short on money, so he didn't have enough money the other day, so he traded it for tobacco, cries the store owner. I swear. Do you have a name? asks Mardler. His name is Galbert Bovier, says the store owner. Sounds French to me. 
All right. I hope you enjoyed uh, the story for today. And if you liked this video, please like the video and subscribe so that you never miss a video. Also, if you have any comments, put them down below. And if you want to support the channel uh, so that I can keep making videos, please click the link below. And if you want to see the rest of the videos in this series, just click up there to see all of the rest of the videos in this Victorian detective series. All right, I'll see you next week. Bye.